I sped this video up because it is a huge park, and um, so I didn't actually drive this fast. <laughs> the speed limit in the park is about um, 45 miles an hour, I think is the fastest speed limit in the park. And uh, it's, it, like I said, it's a huge park. There are lots of windy roads, lots of wildlife. Um, see lots of tarantulas, snakes, uh, roadrunners. Saw several roadrunners through the park. So I visited during the government shutdown, um, January, just a few days ago I got home. So like the 14th, 15th, um, I was there. And um, I want to save you a mistake I made. So I checked the website, made sure that the park was open, said it was open 24-7, and that um, the visitor centers would not be open. So I thought, okay, I was coming back from Arizona. Oh, here it comes. Do you see anything on this sign that says no camping? So it clearly says government shutdown. I knew that was the case. All right. And then nothing on the Big Ben sign. And I wasn't even thinking about this because I already checked the website. It says open 24-7. Visitor center is not open. Understood. So here comes another sign. So I wanted, you know, I just, I went back to my video to double check that I didn't miss anything. So here I am coming up on the pay, the pay booth, which is not being manned because it's closed. Um, so nothing as I approach about no camping. There's a sign on the window that says the government shut down. And there's a little box with the park brochures. So I hop out, I get a park brochure, I look in the window, no one's there, I want to make sure there wasn't anybody there that I needed to pay, and then I continued on. So I got into the park, these, these videos are not necessarily in order, I have so many of them. Anyways, I got into the park and it was getting dark and I um, wanted to get down to the Rio Grande Village. But um, there was no way I was going to make it before it was like pitch black and my night vision is horrible. So I know that I've been there several times and I know that they have primitive camp, campsites right off of the main highway here, off the main road. So I thought to myself, if I see one of those, I'm going to just pull off and, and just, uh, just get in the back of my trailer and go to sleep because um, I'm not safe on the road after dark. I need to be off the road. Um, so I did that. And the next morning, I was greeted by a law enforcement ranger. Um, he was outside my, my trailer, and I, I stepped out and I said, Hi, is everything okay? Is it okay to park here? And he asked, um, Did you stay overnight? I said, Yeah, I did. And so he started writing me a citation. And I was like, Wait, what's going on here? <laughs> he said, You can't stay overnight in the park. Um, and I said, Well, how was a person to know that? And he said, well, the campgrounds all have that posted. Um, well, I, I hadn't gotten to the campground yet. That was still probably another 20, 30 minutes down the road, at least. Um, and this was a primitive campground, campsite. Had like four or five sites there. And there's no, no signage at all, no cones, no nothing. And he said, well, um, no, one's, no one's available to update the website because I told him I got on the website and it didn't say anything about that. He said, well, no one's available to update that. And I said, well, how's a person to know, it, you know, aside from going to, to one of your, your main campgrounds? And he said, well, you could have flagged down a ranger and um, asked. And I said, well, there's, I didn't see any. But anyways, I wasn't going to argue with him. Uh, so I ended up getting a $50 citation for staying the night in the park. Um, and then there's a $30 processing fee on top of that, so $80. It's kind of crazy in my opinion. But anyways, um, I was safe. So that's, I, made the, I made the best choice I could. Um, I needed to get off the road for my own safety and for the safety of any other drivers. It would have been better had I gotten there earlier because then I would have gotten to the actual campground, the, the established campground. And I would have seen the signs there. Um, 
But in any case, uh, don't make the same mistake I made. Um, so if you go to a national park during a shutdown, I was say call, you can't even call anyone. I would just be aware that you might have to stay outside of the park, depending on this. This park, they, the ranger told me that they decided to close the campgrounds down fairly recently. The, the, the shutdown's been, I think it's in its third week. I think he said in the last few days they decided to shut the campgrounds down. But they don't tell anyone <laughs> about it. So I talked to the couple that runs the Rio Grande um, RV park. Now, you can still park there because it's a concession-run um, RV park. That's the only place, apparently. And the um, Chiso's Basin Lodge. There's a lodge up there where you, if you have reservations, you can stay. But the lady at the Rio Grande RV park told me that they were also giving out $400 safe citations, and I got away easy. So just keep that in mind um, if you go to a national park during the government shutdown, especially Big Bend National Park. It's a very remote park. It's huge. Honestly, that was the only ranger I saw the entire time I was there. And I was there um, that overnight and most of the next day. I got out before sunset that next day. But he was the only ranger I saw in the park, the only park employee I saw in the park that entire time. So, hope you enjoy. There's the, the spot I stayed at, and the Rio Grande overlooks next. Beautiful park. All right.